These flatbed trays will soon have eucalyptus seedlings growing in them. I'm interested to know the water content and water potential of the seedling soil environment. Specifically, I want to know how dry the soil can become before these eucalyptus seedlings stop growing. This tray here, which I am currently setting up, will be my high moisture tray. This other tray here will be my low moisture tray. You can only see two trays, but soon I'll have many more trays with seedlings in them. And what I'll eventually know is the tolerance of these eucalyptus seedlings to soil desiccation. The sensor which I will install into the soil is this, the MP306 soil moisture sensor. The measurement zone of influence is these three needles here. So I need to ensure these needles have good contact with the soil. Any air gaps will cause errors in my measurement. The MP306 is ideal in this situation because it is small and can easily fit into these trays. This sensor can be used in glass houses and other shallow soil profiles because it is not affected by temperature. The MP306 can, of course, be used in the field, say under trees, crops or pasture. Because this sensor is constructed from stainless steel materials and all of the electronics are embedded in this epoxy body, it is particularly ideal for long-term measurements in nasty environments such as mine sites, landfills and so on. So if I want to read this sensor, I have two ways of doing it. The first way is here with this handheld meter, which comes part of the MP kit. If I use this, we call it a spot measurement. I need to be here to take the measurement. You can do this every few days or once a week, but as you can appreciate, it'll be very hard taking measurements every 15 minutes or even every hour. The MP306 can also be connected to the SMM soil moisture meter. The SMM can support up to 10 MP306 sensors and it has been specifically programmed to support the MP306 sensors. This is a plug and play system. All you need to do is plug the sensors into one of these ports here. Connect the logger body here and then connect a power supply to the logger body. Once everything is connected, simply use the Windows instrument interface to set the logging interval and that's it. The SMM soil moisture meter has a micro SD card which can store many years of data. To communicate with the SMM, you can simply use the USB cable to connect directly to the instrument. It also has wireless capabilities, so you can connect wirelessly from your office up the corridor, or you can connect anywhere in the world through the GSM network. Although the SMM is easy to use straight from ICT International, it also has advanced features for you. For example, if you want to calibrate your soil moisture sensors, you can put that calibration into the SMM meter. It has programming capabilities. For me, the best feature of the SMM soil moisture meter is that it can simultaneously measure water content and water potential with a single MP306 sensor. This way, in my experiment on eucalyptus seedlings, I can measure exactly soil water content and water potential in the exact same spot with the one sensor. This gives me the best possible research data. For more information on the SMM soil moisture meter, check out our website or contact us at ICT International.